Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, and today we're discussing glutathione again, and this time we're discussing it in a couple of different contexts. And the reason I keep bringing this up, and that you'll see different references to glutathione on my websites, is because glutathione is absolutely essential for, for health and longevity. And if you are low in glutathione, your health will be compromised, I guarantee it. Now, a couple of um, the context that we're going to discuss today is glutathione depletion in heavy metals, and the other has to do with autism. So, let's jump right in. Um, now, glutathione is made up of three different amino acids, it's, and it's, it's extremely effective as an antioxidant, which means in normal biochemical processes, your body will produce these uh, unstable molecules. And, molecule, and uh, biochemicals like glutathione have the ability to stabilize that whole system. And there's, a, there's more involved in that, of course, but glutathione is an absolutely key component. And if you take that out of the equation, you will have problems. Now, our body has different capabilities of glutathione uh, production depending on your own genetic makeup. Some people really make tremendous amounts of this, and these are probably the people who live to be 100 years old without while they, while they drink and smoke and, and don't exercise. Now, if you have normal or, or lower levels of, of, you know, of glutathione in your body, then you will be more subject to all kinds of disease and, of course, death. Now, in these, uh, in these studies, we'll start with one that was uh, called um, Thimerosal toxicity is associated with glutathione depletion, protection with, uh, with glutathione precursors. And this was published in a, a journal of neurotoxicology in 2005. Now, the basic uh, premise of this article was that kids um, are particularly vulnerable to, to ethyl mercury, and ethyl mercury is uh, a key component of thimerosal. Thimerosal, of course, is a preservative that's used often in, uh, in vaccines. And it's been taken out of a lot of, um, a lot of the infant vaccines these days, but it's still used in many others. You know, it's still used in flu, flu vaccines, and even pregnant uh, mothers are exposed to thimerosal. So it has not been taken out of the system completely. And the medical industry, of course, would, would swear in a stack of Bibles that there's no risk whatsoever in vaccines, but it's like one uh, educated person told me they're not vaccinating any of their kids, and, and um, so I said, why, why are you going to uh, take that approach? And he said, well, until medicine can tell me exactly what does cause these, um, you know, these autistic type issues, then, then you know, they, they say it's not vaccines. Vaccines are not doing it, but until they can tell me what is causing it, then um, I don't think it's appropriate to, uh, to take the chance. Now, um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on vaccines here, but just to tell you, I'm not anti-vaccine, but I'm anti-stupid vaccine, and I've mentioned that in other videos, and, but I won't go into that in any more detail here. Um, the, the important thing here is that mercury, of course, we know is, is a very um, potent neurotoxin, and according to this study, that mercury doesn't really begin to cause damage until glutathione is depleted. So, in one way that you can increase glutathione levels in the body is by using glutathione precursors. And one of those is N-acetylcysteine, which you can buy commercially. We have a couple of products with that in it. And one is called um, Cisnac by Neuroscience, and the other is Glutathione Recycler by Apex. So those are, that's what those are for. Now, Remember that uh, even though thimerosal has been removed from many vaccines, say it's still used in some vaccines, but also that doesn't mean that all the mercury from, a, from an infant's environment has been removed. So my suggestion, of course, is keep these glutathione levels up. Now, if you, you're going to vaccinate your child, then I suggest that you make sure that, that they get plenty of antioxidants before and after the vaccine. In other words, give them some vitamin C you know, uh, a few weeks before and a few weeks after and also maybe some glutathione recycler or something similar a few days before and several days after to make sure that they can remove any of these toxins out of their body. So there will be, this is part one of this uh, particular series and we'll go into part two here in just a second.